When doing your risk assessments, really important to know the difference between a hazard, a harm, and a control. And especially on your Nibosch NG2 practical project, you need to make sure that you don't completely confuse those things. Let's take a look at this one here I've knocked up. I see this type of thing all the time. We've got hazard category, slips and trips, and then we have risk of slips and trips. It's not a hazard. Look, look at it, hazard category and hazard. Risk of slips and trips is not a hazard. A slip, not a hazard. A trip, not a hazard. What are you slipping on? What are you tripping over? Those are the hazards. Look at this one, work equipment. Risk of cuts from lack of training. Right, cuts, a cut is not a hazard. Lack of training, not a hazard. Manual handling here, risk of back injuries. A back injury is not a hazard. Let's remember the definition of a hazard. A hazard is something with the potential to cause harm. So what is it which is causing you to trip, slip? What's cutting you? What's giving you the back injury? What are you doing which is causing the back injury? What we've got in here are harms. We've got here the risk of cuts, that's a harm. The slip and trip is the event which leads to the harm. The back injury is a harm. Where do the harms go? Well, they go in this box. How, who might be harmed and how? So in here, we need a reference to slipping and tripping. In this box here, we need a reference to cutting. Not just a reference to cutting, not just. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's more, more to it than that. But that's where this information is going to go. We want to get the back injuries in there. The back, the back, the back injuries. That's where that information is going to go with more detail, of course. But also look at this one here, lack of training. Lack of training is not a hazard. That's a control measure, or actually it's the absence of a control measure. So what, where does that one go? Well, that goes in this column here. What If it's lacking, you put it in the further controls. So we're gonna refer to the lack of training. We're gonna fix the lack of training in the further control box. So let's try rephrasing this, shall we? So we want to have a nice hazard, a nice harm, and a nice control, although there are no nice harms, to be fair. The chief says, so Englishman, now you must choose between death or Mau Mau. The Englishman says, we English will not bow to savages. I'll choose Mau Mau. So they grab him and they stick the 10 pieces of fruit up his ass. He goes, as a nice, as a nice harm. Nicely phrased harm, how about that? So, slips and trips. We could say, slippery floors due to contamination with oil, plus many trip hazards such as um, pallets, tools, and raw finished materials stored uh, on floor. Okay, there we are. That's a nice specific hazard. We're given lots of detail saying, here are the things which we could slip and trip on. There we are. Now we're gonna have to get the harm written out properly, aren't we? So we need a who, don't we? Who, who might be harmed? Who might be harmed? Well, we could say frontline operatives and others in the area could slip and trip over the hazards. All right, now we've got, an, we've got a who, we've got the start of the how, and we need something more now. We need, we need a specific injury and could suffer, not just injury, 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 sorry, injury. Come on, give us a bit more than that. I know it's an injury. Come on, what are you gonna do? Say injury on every box. Oh, injury, injury, injury. Come on, give me more than that. Major injury. Don't give me major injury. Give me the, the actual injury. Death. That's a bit better, but it's not great. How about could suffer broken bones, bruising. Good enough? I think so. I think that's good enough. Cutting. Okay, risk of cuts. Well, that's not very good, is it? Right, work equipment such as work equipment could be uh, extensive use of sharp knives to cut raw materials. Right, so sharp. It's a blade, isn't it? It's cutting. So, users of knives could suffer deep cuts. Right. Deep cuts. Deep cuts. Due to accidentally cutting towards themselves or by putting knife in pocket after use with blade extended. So what have we got there? We've got, we haven't got a job title, but we've got users of knives, that's the who, and we've got a how. So they cut towards themselves, they put it in their pocket, and they get a deep cut. Great. And we've got this lack of training issue, haven't we? So let's rephrase that. We would say, provide training in the safe use of knives. 
Now, I'm going to say that actually that's not good enough. You know, if you're going to use the hierarchy of controls properly and pass your NG2, you are going to have to do more than just provide training. Right, let's show the examiner that we understand the hierarchy and let's eliminate knives. We could say pilot a variety of safety knives to eliminate the need to use blades. How about that? We're not committing to it, we're just piloting it. And how about we add an extra action where it says, if the pilot is successful, we're gonna roll it, okay? What do you mean roll it? Implement the, the chosen safety knives. There we are, nice little action there. One last one, hopefully you get the idea by now. Risk of back injuries, that's not very good, is it? Uh, frequent twisting and bending whilst uh, while stacking pallets with boxes from conveyor belts. And that could cause back injuries, yeah, that's for sure. So you could say packers at end of the line could suffer back injuries from repetitive handling. I think we're kind of there. That's probably good enough for most examiners, but you might want to add a little bit more in terms of what other injuries could occur. Well, you know, cuts, bruises, scratches, that kind of thing. Could also suffer abrasions and cuts from sharp edges of boxes and um, banding straps. Could also drop uh, boxes onto feet and suffer broken bones. Okay, there we are. Now you could provide a bit more detail. How about we put down the weight of the boxes? Let's put down the weight of the boxes. If you're manually handling something, just put down the weight of it. There you go, 15 kilos, whatever it is. If you've got a step ladder, put the height of the step ladder. Yeah, well, well, we've got, got a variety of step ladders from one meter to three meters. Great, write that down so that you're showing your examiner what a hazard is. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Hope this video helps you pass your NG2 on the first attempt. And why don't you say thank you to me by buying me a coffee? That's my wife and that's my wife's friend. Say hello to my wife's friend. Also, if you're stuck with your current course provider who is a bit naff, some of them are a bit naff, then why don't you consider signing up for our Nibosh Rescue Package where you'll get a heavily, heavily discounted uh, access to our online course and my own tutor support. And hopefully we'll get you, we'll rescue you from your current predicaments. Links in the description below. I'm out of coffee. Hint, hint.